weeknights at 7 and 11 p.m. Now, stay tuned for Edge of Night, next on USA. too good for you. My convertible is parked right out front. Then you should move it. It's blocking the driveway. To be continued. You don't want to borrow my raincoat. Oh, Mitzi. How about sitting behind a table? You know, that way we can keep your flesh under control. Come on. People dress like this all the time. Uh, not in his neighborhood. Police running around. Nothing left to guard. Uh, well, where do they uh, take the head anyway? It's being photographed somewhere. See you around. Benedict. Yeah, it's too late. Uh, they're taking the head to photograph it already. His wife's disappearance. Then Skyler Whitney's announcement of a twenty-five thousand dollar reward. Are you all set? Yep. All right, let's see what we got here. with this uh, kiss and the outfit and the whole trip here. Don't you like it? Yeah, it's hot. Good. Listen, you're going to wind up in the centerfold of some magazine if you don't kiss the moon your first now. Oh, I just uh, needed a change from my skirts and blouses and things. All right, it doesn't look like you got a change. It looks like to me you got a complete overhaul. Well, why don't you buy the girl a drink to go with it, huh? Right, listen, well, the way you're dressed, I really shouldn't entertain you at the bar, right? So, Mitzi, do you have a table for us? Absolutely. Right. It's Thank a you. great idea. Uh, Jody, I tell you what, I am going to put you right over here at this nice big table so you'll be safe. You know, we'd like something to drink, too. Okay. Something tasty, something ultra potent. One orange juice. Yeah, and I'm gonna have. Yeah, and I'm gonna have a beer too. You got it. <laughs> so, um, what's with the outfit? It's new. I figured as much. I didn't think you'd have something like that stashed away in the closet. <laughs> Want to know something else? What? It's 
not the only one. I bought a lot of new outfits. And actually, this one here is the most conservative. <laughs> That's the most conservative? Mm -hmm. I'd hate to see the rest of them. They probably look like they're made of plastic wrap or something. Are you making fun of me? No, 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 I'm not making fun of you. I mean, it looks great. It looks, it looks hot. It's just that I'm surprised, I guess. Mm, pleasantly surprised, I hope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you look great. You look great. You look hot. <laughs> Good. Have you ever been to a fashion show? No, no, not that I can remember. Well, you're going to one tonight. Well, why is that? Because I'm going to model every one of my new outfits. And there's only going to be one person in the audience. You. Me. Hmm? Because that's better than watching reruns on TV, right? And for the grand finale, there's even some lingerie. Lingerie, listen, why don't you not say it? See, this guy's looking. Don't talk so loud about that, all right? Why do I have to be quiet? I love you and I don't care. Who knows? Yeah. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, don't do that. I tell you, Mike, Sky's reward offer of $25,000 has certainly caused quite a stir. Well, he had to offer the reward, of course. That's a sensible thing to do. But I wonder if he has, uh, what else he might have in mind. Well, I don't know. He searched all the land around Marble Lake for several days. They found nothing. I don't think there's anything else he really can do. One thing I know he won't do is give up. Uh, how's Jeremy Rhodes coming with those photographs? Oh, I, uh, I just talked to Chris on the phone. They're uh, working on them right now. Interesting challenge. Trying to make a clay sculpture recognizable as a human being? Yeah, well, I guess Rose will give it his best shot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Something the matter? Liz Carell and her attitude about this whole thing. Yeah, well, I guess that's uh, been a problem for a lot of people lately. She has no criminal record. Nope. I don't think I would have met her at a fundraiser or a civic function. I can't imagine why her name seems oddly familiar to me. Well, I better get on home. Good night, Calvin. Good night. You will take photographs with other wigs, right? I mean, other hairstyles? I imagine so. We got a whole box full of them over here. What about different makeup? Look, you can pile on all the eyeliner you want, but it's not going to make a bit of difference. The only look that's important is the one that Jeremy's shooting right now. For your information, Miss Carell, the look that we have here is the one we'll be circulating, okay? So you don't have to worry. I'm not worrying. However, if nobody comes forth with some positive ID, we'll have to shoot it again with different variations. Now, instead of traping all the way back here and starting all over again from the beginning, I think it's best that we cover all of our bases now. See? I get the point, Detective. <clears throat> Thanks for trusting me as much as you have. Are you shooting that from a uh, too high of an angle? No. Well, you don't usually look down on... Trust me, okay? Like... The angle of the light makes the sculpture look almost lifelike right now. Fine, it was just a suggestion. She's wound up pretty tight, isn't she? Listen, the closer we came to completing this sculpture, the more nervous she got. Yeah, somehow I get the feeling that it's more than just artistic temperament. Whatever the reason, she's very high strung. I've been afraid of setting her off. <sighs> yeah, a good kick in the pants might cool her down. Come on, that doesn't sound like Chris. I'm sorry. It's the Chris Egan, you know, is just very tired after a very long day. You sure that's all that's wrong? Yes, there's nothing wrong. It's just, it's just work. Listen, I'm supposed to be having a late supper with Beth over the country club. You and Derek want to join us? <sighs> no, I don't think so, Miles. Thanks, just the same. Listen, why don't you just go? It's getting late. Well, I, I really ought to wait till they're finished. No, that's not necessary. I'll represent Monticello PD, all right? I'll make sure that the sculpture is safely locked up at headquarters. Maybe you're right. Okay, thanks. Okay. You guys, I'm, I'm going to leave. I'll see you in the morning, all right? Okay, Molly. Or something? Yeah. Oh. Would you happen to know where they uh, took the head to be photographed? One more. 
and that's it. Very good, sweetheart. Very oh, yes, yeah, says she, lying in bed reading her book. Now, if you really loved me, you'd be down here on the floor doing I these ridiculous exercises with me. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. Bland food, awful medicine, strenuous workouts. Oh, boy. Oh, honey, it is going to work. It <sighs> is. Did you uh, hear anything more about Raven's disappearance? No. And Derek doesn't seem to have much confidence in the local officer who's working on the case. Who's that? Uh, his name is Ken Bloom, from the sheriff from Greene County. Oh. I saw Sky in the evening news. Oh, I wish I had. What was it like? It was very short, simple, very forceful. Uh-huh. Uh, something's puzzling you, though. Hmm? Well, aside from making the announcement about the reward, Sky has been very quiet. How do you mean? Well, I expected him to be battering down my door, demanding the Marines and the FBI and Lord knows what. But well, he isn't, hmm? No, I haven't heard a word from him. Well, I thought maybe he's exhausted? No, I don't think so. Uh, if I know Sky Whitney, he uh, isn't sitting around waiting for things to move ahead. He's probably moving ahead himself. Yes, Scott, uh, there have been several responses. The switchboard has been somewhat busy since your broadcast. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I'm not an expert, of course, but uh, I'd say they were from people who were either crackpots or simply curious. Shall I send these messages over to you, dear? Yes, all right, then I'll have them delivered to your house by messenger. Oh, you want them sent to the detective agency. All right, dear. I'll see that they're over there by tomorrow morning. Goodbye. I've been looking for you. You disappeared right after the six o'clock news. Well, can you blame me? Now, that, that Peter Nevins has never cared for my company that much. And humility's never been one of his long suits. Uh, he's got one of them egos that just never quits. That's neither here nor there. Well, when he began to, uh, what's that word, um, uh, uh, pontificate with me, I realized that was when I was supposed to step out and get a little fresh air. And how far did you step? Ma'am? This breath of air you had to take, how far did you have to step in order to take it? Well, just here and there, and hither and yon, you know. You're referring to Whitney International. My nephew's secretary called to say you had dropped by. Well, wasn't that helpful of her? Okay. <laughs> Two salads? Are you sure you guys don't want more substantial? No, no, this is going to be fine. Yeah, well, you know, this isn't the rock garden. I got myself a chef back there and everything. I mean, he makes soup de jour. I'm allergic to jars. Jars? Jazz. Jazz. Jazz, so why don't you just leave us alone? Yes, I guess. Yes, okay. So, how was the job hunting today? Any luck? No, no, not really. I scratched a few things, but I could turn up anything. You know. Is that why you're acting like something's bothering you? No, I'm fine, really. Nothing's bothering me, to be honest. Well, you do like the way I look. Yeah, I like to. Bet I like the way oh, you good. look. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look who's here. Hello. Oh. Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, we won't keep you. Uh, enjoy your meal. Mm. You too. Hi, Missy. Hi. I'm going to put you right here. Oh, thank you. Miles. Here's some menus and let me know when you're ready to order. Thank you. Yeah. Miles, Jody's going to be arrested. What is she doing? She said she needed winter clothes. I didn't know she meant winter in Tahiti. Yes. <laughs> Why would she wear something like that? Well, sometimes people dress up for someone special. You're talking about me with you, aren't you? Miles, that's not fair. You're even rotten to bring it up. Actually, I was talking about myself. You, right, right. I bought a new suit for our first date. No. Yes? Mm -hmm. See, now we're... I didn't even notice it's it. all right, we're even. Oh, my goodness, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice. I'll survive, I'm perfectly all right. <laughs> oh, I'm mortified, I should have noticed it. Well, you can notice it right now, I'm wearing it tonight. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Hello. Hi, Chris. It's Calvin. Hi. Look, how's it going over there? Slowly. 
idea, well, is it gonna work out or what? Well, it's kind of hard to tell what the face is gonna look like on film, but it is remarkably lifelike. Hey, hold on, how much longer do you think it's gonna take? I don't know, let me check. Jeremy, how much longer? 20 minutes, uh, half hour. Okay, half hour, maybe less. Okay, that's good. Look, I, uh, I think I'll just wait here for you because we should lock that sculpture up as soon as Rhodes is done with it. Okay, well, I'll bring it with me to the headquarters. Uh, anything else? Well, actually, uh, yeah, the chief just called. He was uh, concerned about where you are. Oh? Look, Chris, he sounds pretty low. Look, Calvin, don't get in the middle of this, all right? Well, it's just... Look, I just like both of you so much, you know? Calvin, I know you do. I, I appreciate your concern. I really do. But uh, this is something we're going to have to work out on our own. And I'm afraid it's not going to happen overnight. Derek really feels like I've betrayed him by helping Sky Whitney. Well, look, I understand Calvin, all that. Just let it go, all right? I'll see you in a half hour, maybe less. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll be here waiting for you. Bye. It does seem a little odd, me dropping by Whitney International offices. Yes, it does. Uh, yeah, but there was a reason for that now, Geraldine. Believe me, there was. Uh, uh, what I was trying to do today was to pave, uh, well, a, a smooth transitionary period. I beg your pardon. Well, I know how worried you are about taking the reins from Mr. Whitney while he's looking for his dear wife. But, uh, well, face it. I knew that it was going to be a heavy, heavy period and a heavy, heavy burden for you. What I wanted to do was be as helpful as I could be. You can help by telling me what you were doing at my nephew's company. I was trying to establish communications, don't you see? I mean, during these next couple of, couple of months, there's going to be memos flying back and forth. There's going to be phone calls and personnel and records. You name it. What I was doing today, I was being a kind of a, an advance man. Um, making sure that, uh, that liaison was all in place. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Oh, we see, uh, Geraldine, I, I was trying to do right by you and by my position here. No, I, I, I admit, I, I don't mind advancing myself a mite, uh, but I may have taken a step or two beyond my authority, and I apologize if I did that. I'm sorry. But you got to understand, what I did was for your good. That's the truth. <laughs> I wanted to help you, Geraldine. I really did. Well, in the future, you can help a great deal if you will just clear these projects with me ahead of time. Roger will call Geraldine. That I'll do. <laughs> I mean, from now on, without your seal, I won't so much as get a drink of water at the water fountain. Be shot. What, what? What's the matter? It's been weeks since I asked you about yourself or your work or anything. Oh. When was the last time that I asked you how your day went? Honey, you always do. Not lately. I've been so wound up with Raven's trial that I've, I've neglected you completely. Oh, well, I'll take a rain check for our vacation. Maybe I'll go buy a new car. Do it. You deserve it. No, I don't need a new car. I'm very, very happy with my roles. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really very happy with my job and happy with my darling i'm just generally happy now i'd like some peace and quiet so i can get back to this book okay you've got it uh-oh hmm? another letter from greenhaven from Lori? no her doctor well what do you know about that what is it it looks as if Lorianne's condition may be improving. I'm going to say something I've never said in my entire life. Well, what's that? Your place, mine. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was fun. I've always wanted to say that. Well, what will it be? Uh, let's say... Oh, wait a minute. I'll choose. Yours. Are you being serious? Very. Really? Mm -hmm. Let's go, okay? <laughs> you know, 
I just realized what Jody meant at my party by taking the initiative. Oh, dear. Well, it's late, Dale. Time to call it a day. Yeah. I don't suppose you want to, uh... Yes. Carol, you should have been gone ages ago. Oh, Lord. Well, all right, I'll be there in a minute. It's the weatherman for the 11 o'clock news. Oh. Claims he's ill. But I'm afraid it's the sort of illness that comes from pint bottles. Mm. Excuse me. Yeah. Whitney International. There's got to be some way that I can be a help over there. Maybe pick myself up a promotion on the way. Take it easy when you put it in. You don't want to dent I'll the I'll be play. careful. And when you carry it, make sure it doesn't tilt from don't side to don't side. Don't worry, Miss Carell. I think I can handle it. Thank you very much. Jeremy, when will the photographs be ready? Uh, don't worry. I plan on staying up tonight to develop the negatives. I should have the proof sheets tomorrow morning. Okay, great. I'll be in touch. Good night. I'll be right out. I think I should say, uh, thanks. Thanks. Yeah. It's been swell. Just a second. Yeah, would you... Thank you.